Hello and welcome to Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. I'm Dana Store Coats, and this is a variety preview. I thought I'd lead out with something that a lot of you have been requesting, which is antique ring boxes. Well, at antique boxes, it's not just rings. Um, I think I've showed you, if you're new here, I've shown the double ring box. Now, these boxes go from Victorian to, I think I have a couple that are, yeah. That one is probably 1950s. I think that's from the 1950s and 60s as well. But the majority of them are Victorian. Many of them are marked with a jeweler, which actually makes them a little bit more valuable. Now, they started this chagrin, which is stingray, and that's faux stingray, and snakeskin patterns in the Art Deco period. Well, this one's probably Edwardian, a little bit later than Victorian. A little bit and this one is definitely Victorian gorgeous silk and a little bit threadbare but still gorgeous that's probably 1930s or 40s on that one and these two are definitely deco it's that faux chagrin as well that is this heart box these heart boxes are very desirable but they're i haven't popped them all open there are a lot to choose from there's also one gorgeous silk velvet stick pin case and this is actually An antique eyeglass case. So, let's move on. I could probably just edit all this out, but why do that? Oh, because I just bumped you. Sorry. He sort of fell out when I was putting them in the vase. They look so pretty, I left them there. Of course, I will have rock crystal quartz in the form of pools of light. There's a new pair of Art Deco pools of light and marcasite earrings. Uh, there's rock crystal quartz. That's the one that has a galaxy going through the crystal. This is a new Art Deco on the original chain, I do believe. Huge rock crystal quartz. Natural quartz is rock crystal quartz. Um, a more modern rock crystal quartz ring in gold and an art deco in silver. Move that back. The pools of light necklaces, I have eight available. And those are $125 shipped. I'd like to do the tray. I 
I'm gonna give you a quick zoom in just a bit so you can see. I'm sorry, my hand is sutured, so. There is a new upside down. <laughs> a new upside down rock crystal quartz. Now it's right side up. That is Aquarius. I can see yellow. That is not acid. That is from lilies that were in the flower vase. Um, this is vintage. It's a spider poison ring. Sterling silver, of course. This is French and Art Deco. Chrysoprase. And Marcosite. Gorgeous ring. Uh, this is a, repro a Georgian reproduction. It's a posy ring. Those are two snakes. Um... This was spoke made. None have ever loved but you or I. It's quite heavy. I'll weigh it for you. Uh, this is Manitoid Garnet and Chocolate Diamonds. Sunflower ring. There are sterling and gold heart lockets. A mix of new earrings, well, new as in brand new or vintage. Uh, pearl rings, of course, pearls. This year is the big season's big necklace or and bracelets. Next big thing is pearls, which good for me. I love pearls. <laughs> Just so happens they are very hot right now. Um, it's been a while since I brought them some amber. So of course, when when I do something, I think I do it well. Let's see if this pulls of light. First of all, I love flowers. And I absolutely love, well, of course it's gonna twist on me. Necklaces never lay on you. Well, they lay on you easier than they do on a display mannequin. So, what it is, of course, is sterling and fabulous amber daisies. And I think it will look absolutely incredible. Not that one, maybe this one. If you have amber of your own or with another piece. Let's see how that one goes. Oh, it's just got that beautiful golden honey color. So you could layer it up easily. I love this longer piece with the pendant. And that's not it. How stunning is that fringe piece? Of course, that's a bib. And they've been wearing bibs since Egyptian times. Well, 
I haven't got this. I've said that I was going to bring it, but I haven't got it re-threaded yet, but I still need to show you the cherry Baltic amber. It is that incredible. Oh. Go from amber and crystal to Egyptian. Why not? This is probably one of the most prolific Niger bead pieces. Of course, it's the Art Deco Egyptian Revival Scarab piece. I can bring you a few Niger pieces. You're like, what? Why should we banging on about Niger? Well, if you don't follow the channel and you've never heard of Max and Norbert Niger, I'll give you a quick history. They were Jewish. They worked in the Goblonsk glass region of Poland. Actually, Bavaria. So it was part of Poland and Germany. They were prolific jewelry makers from 19, around 1915 to 1935, so only 20 years. Then they were forced into hiding and eventually murdered by Hitler and the Nazi regime. So you'll find that their pieces are not only sought after, but they continue to increase in value. Saying that, this is one of their rare India pieces. In fact, I only have, I only own, I collect Niger, and I probably only have two or three pieces myself. These are the elephants and these fantastic red jelly beads. It even has a gorgeous clasp. Now, the Niger beads, here on my channel, I clean everything. The Niger beads, this is hand applied. Uh, it's not really a paint. I, I do believe it was like sort of a paint and a slip that they used in the firing process. It will wash off. So you don't want to wash it to clean them. I spray them with alcohol and allow them to fully dry. Well, one of the most rare colors is yellow in Niger beads. And these are fabulous cream and yellow tomb beads. And this will go with either of those, the scarab or the pieces of India. Red tomb beads. Of course, these are pressed glass. Oh, uh, let's see what else did I want to show you, Niger. Oh! Of course, I'll show you, but let's pull this amber down. Take you back up.
this piece. Oh, just too long for that pasta, isn't it? Also, this piece, and you can see how fabulously they work together. many of the beads available. But I do have a blue set. And then one of, well, I mean, they're all quite fabulous. But one of the most recently acquired pieces. Let me clasp it so I can put it on the bus to show you. pink opaline glass. Faceted pink opaline glass. Hands down, one of the most gorgeous pieces from Niger I've seen personally recently. So I'll check glass, of course. It's been forever since I've set, shown Venetian glass. I wanted to bring you some antique Moretti Millefiore. I absolutely adore these because you can wear them with anything and everything because they have every color in them. They're, they're joy in a necklace. This is actually a long piece. Uh, Czechs make a harlequin glass. I can show you an example of that. This is the Italian version of harlequin. It's glass with, of course, applied lamp work and multicolored. Just so you can appreciate it. Look at the two of those together. Uh, that has a post-1930s clasp. I think this one's a bit earlier. Of course, this, these beads could have been from the same time and restrung. But these are definitely Victorian with the adventuring gold glass beads. These are, all of these are fabulous examples. I'm 
and show you the bracelets. Um, one of the largest moonstones I've come across. Of course, it's in sterling silver. It's got a really sort of Egyptian feel about it. I'm not going to try to put that on. <laughs> It'd take up too much time. Gorgeous plate du jour. Of course, poured red glass. Marcosite. Two very Asian looking cranes. I think they're they represent longevity. One of the most incredible sterling dragonfly bracelets I've ever seen. A new seven day, well, I say new. Art Deco sterling with gold rope. Seven God, seven days God's brace, God's, God bracelet. <laughs> oh, trip over your tongue there, girl. Uh, this one's larger, but it has a lot of panels, and you could always remove a panel and just turn it into a necklace. Or if you remove two, you can turn it into a pair of earrings. Even the clasps are gorgeous on this bracelet. Art Deco Egyptian Revival. Well, this one is Cremins, which is an American company. And it's gold filled, and that is rock crystal quartz carnelian uh, sodalite, or no, I can see a little bit of gold going on in there. Lapis, banded carnelian, or banded agate, um, moss agate, and tiger's eye. The stones are fantastic. You don't quite often see them with stones of that quality. There's a new, well, new Victorian Albertina bracelet. Um, for those of you that missed the trombone bracelet, I have another. The good luck horseshoe and tassel and dog clip clasp. Well, let's see what else is new. Oh, I showed you the plate control bracelet. Well, we have some daylight. Now, this is not only a brooch, it's also a pendant. I can show that to you on the torque. Oh, well, what's on the torque right now? Art Nouveau Dragon's Breath. I meant to be showing you bracelets. I get caught up in how gorgeous this is. I think it works on this torque. Oh, just. Stunning. Oh, uh, let's see. Where is the dragon's breath bracelet? Ah! Here it is. Oh, I had this, I know, in a necklace once upon a time, and I've come across the bracelet. Gorgeous. 
just gorgeous. show you European charms. Oh. These are antique horseshoes. Good luck horseshoes. An antique fish. A vintage stag. Uh, a vintage bull. Vintage elephant, a cute little. Am I showing you? <laughs> Am I in shot? Uh, cute little articulated froggy. There are owls. That's a giant horse head. That that is a dog chasing a cat up a lamp post. I think I'm a little too close there. There we go. Uh, there's a Christmas tree, um, it's an antique bear. No, that's the vintage bear. There is a zebra here, so they say zebra. Uh, birds of prey, claw, uh, cute little mouse and cheese. Uh, what's that? A bunny rabbit, a uh, little mouse on a stalk of wheat, and that's meant to go into hobbies. Hmm. A spinning wheel, which I do believe I have a couple of them. Well, many of these are very British. The throne, the throne of England. There are several Victorian coins. That one's in a coin holder. This is a very early Queen Victoria. Ooh, goodness gracious, dropping things. Luckily it's sterling. Um, the vintage I Love You spinner. Love this one. It's Aurora Borealis Tawaski. It's a person on a desert island. I have to check and see if it's one person or two people. There are several sailing references. Small boats, large boats. Living on the coast. Oh, more boats. More boats. <laughs> Jeez. Throw them. Just throw them. There is an antique fob charm, that's charm size, uh, sterling and crystal teapot, Big Ben, uh, articulated, that should be in with it articulated, but articulated genie lamp. Put that back in there. Um, one of these keys says I 18 and the other key set of keys says I love you. They're little letters. There's a double decker bus. I don't like showing you the inside of my hand. Uh, there's the Eiffel Tower. There is a huge beef eater guard. These are all charms. There are some travel charms. Tinmouth, which is near me. Buxton. Um, Versailles. Uh, Lowenstoff, that's Germany. Canterbury, England. Um, I don't know why the teepee's in there. It's meant to be in the articulated, but anyway... There's a train, a uh, British man in a derby. They say derby. Uh, a little globe with the spinning A.B. Swarovski. Bagpipes and um, manacles, which are handcuffs. 
Now you might saw a loose jump ring or two or three. Um, I will provide a heavy open jump ring with each charm that you purchase. And you won't need to take it to a jeweler. I'll teach you how to close it and you can attach your own charms. This one is 800 silver. It's very rare, it's Art Deco. Um, I know it's tiny, but they're, they're rare and priced accordingly. And I'll show you why. It's a Moses basket. And the inside of the charm, oh, come on. inside of the charm and the baby which does come out and is frequently lost is 15 karat gold the charm itself is all guilloche enamel set onto 800 silver with 15 karat gold lining and baby uh which oh i haven't showed you the articulated charms go through them quickly. Well, the boot isn't articulated, but there's a riding boot, a large beer sign. Uh, there's a tiny treasure chest and there's a larger treasure chest. The tiny one has pearls in it to my recollection. There's an articulated old-fashioned antique bicycle. There's the Aladdin's lamp. The Gypsy Caravan, a dancing girl. I don't know why she's in there. <laughs> There's an articulated car. Some of these charms are very rare, very desirable. Um, a camper, the camera opens up. Another articulated bike, a well. Um, love, 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 love this. articulated little rickshaw. There's another spinning wheel. I don't think that one's articulated. And that one is a pub. Which public house. Bar and a restaurant here. So, I would say, other than the teepee, 99.9% .9 of my charms are specific to either England or Europe. So that, that's just makes them a little bit, I guess, different. Not necessarily special, it just makes them different. Um, I have a large collection of hearts with actually some rare stones. Now, if you can see the. how opaque that is. And that is Charlite. It's only found one place in the world and that's in Russia. Um, I'm not sure because they did not test this so I will, I will sell it as costume but that's Rose Crystal Quartz. Uh, this is antique and that is Carnelian. is vintage blue lace agate that is vintage on sterling tiger dye I want to say this is ocean jasper and I'm not sure with that bale if that's antique or vintage I think this is antique amethyst glass you see that I think that is highlight, colored highlight, and that is amethyst. That is definitely an antique little amethyst charm. So that's the collection of hearts. 
Uh, let's see, there'll be sterling rings, um, of course some brooches. It's going to be a big show. I also want to bring you some vintage compacts. And many of them you've never seen. Now, you combine all that with, I'm sure you can see the pearls in the background. Gosh, I just always make such a mess in my desk, honestly. Let me get these things picked up. I'm sorry for the mess. It's, it's a beautiful mess, but a mess nonetheless. Hearts, hearts, hearts. I'm going to have to put those back in the water. Get more juicy. Just show you a cross section of some of the compacts. I can pull out of their cases quickly. Uh, that's a Kigu. Gorgeous. 1940s. Art Deco. Completely hallmarked. Guiche. Sterling silver. Absolutely gorgeous. How fabulous is this? Unused. Musical. Also musical. Kiku. Uh, oh, pearls. <laughs> I cleared all that off to show you pearls. And I haven't showed you new rings yet. Of course, there are. Uh, there are a ton of new um, grab them. Um, pastel pearls. Oh, more. More. Of course, there are white and off-white pearls, and oh, sorry, I'm so close there. And of course, bracelets. I'm sure I will find other things to show you. And hopefully we can get through the ones I have shown you. Dropping bracelets there. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't shown you guys. That's it. Should be, right? 40 minutes of a preview. But still, we'll spend hours. And that's okay. Because I love to spend time with you. Oh, the rings. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll just show you the newest ones. Ones that you can't look back and, and see. 
this is nine karat gold. Fabulous. Art Deco Citrine. I can't put rings because of the satures. I can't put rings all the way up. Uh, this one's too small anyway. Just to give me an idea of that ring. And then this one, of course, fits, but not today. That's uh, Angel Skin Coral. Which, of course, anything angel skin is rare because it's no longer allowed to be harvested. And it is Edwardian, and it is set in 18 karat gold. All the new rings. Um, well, there are plenty of rings, but I think you've seen them. Unless you're new to the channel. And I will show you all of the rings, of course. I'll, I'll probably put this up the way it is because it's so late in the day. We're actually going to have a sale in a few hours. so. But it gives you an idea of what's going to be there. There's me knocking over my fabulous rock crystal quartz pools of light. Uh, the sale will start at... 5 p.m. Eastern, that's 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 10 p.m. my time here in England. So, if you saw something that you love, don't forget to, to leave a comment. And until then, I will see you very soon. Thank you for stopping in.